cardiopulmonary bypass circuit is a main component which takes the deoxygenated blood from patient to the heart lung machine and returns the oxygenated blood back to the patient. Tubing configuration changes depends on the patient size and blood flow from adult to neonate. Half an inch blue line, 3 8 red line, quarter inch green, blue, yellow, white and red. Green is used for gases. So in the whole pile, half an inch blue line is used for venous, red 3 8 for arterial, green, blue, yellow, white are used as pump suckers or vent depends on the perfusion department protocol. Solid green is used for gas transfer. Cardiopulmonary bypass tubing comes in two different wall thickness, 3 by 332 and 1 by 116. Uh, this is half an inch by 3 by 332, 38 by 3 by 332 wall thickness, quarter inch by 1 by 116 wall thickness. There are different types and sizes of tubing may be used throughout the circuit. For example, Tubing used to monitor pressure is different to tubing for the actual circulatory support. Tubing should be positioned in an orientation that avoids kink and allows for smooth curves to limit areas of high velocity and stagnation. Any junction or connections between components have to be securely tightened. The normal tubes used in caliparin bypass are two types. One is PVC one is silicon. First we'll see about the PVC. Polyvinyl chloride PVC is a common tubing material used today in cardiopulmonary bypass. PVC is made up of polymer chains with polar carbon chloride bonds. This bonds results in considerable intermolecular attraction between the polymer chains making PVC a fairly strong material. PVC is a rigid plastic but Plasticizers are added to the tubing used in cardiopulmonary bypass, which makes it malleable and easy to manipulate. When you come to silicon, its structure consists of chain of silicon and oxygen atoms. The molecule structure of silicon rubber result in with very flexible but weak chain. Silicon produces less hemolysis than PVC. Silicon is used in the pump roller head as an alternative to commonly used PVC tubing. In cardiopulmonary bypass, most of the time, you might heard this word spallation. What is spallation? When the tubing is repeatedly compressed in the pump roller heads, this intermediate compression can degrade the integrity of the wall of the tubing and may cause plastic microparticles to be released. You might come across this purge lines. All the purge lines used in cardiopulmonary bypass should have a one-way valve that is from the pressure side to the non-pressure side, from arterial side to the venous side, because arterial side is the pressure side and venous side is the non-pressure side. One-way valve avoids the accidental injection of air and drugs to the arterial system.